Did you know, Deadpool once killed a multiverse of Deadpool. In the Deadpool Kills Deadpool series, we find Deadpool and his partner Tentacool fighting a group of evil Deadpool variants. After Deadpool the Duck is killed along with a MODOK and T-Rex, they cross a portal to save reality. Wade and Pandapool then find themselves surrounded by a multiverse of evil Deadpool. However, this group is quickly mowed down as a group of good Deadpool to save Wade. We cut to them making their way to the Deadpool Tower, fending off swarms of Deadpools but losing members along the way, even Pandapool. Later, Wade confronts the leader of these evil Deadpools, Dreadpool, who claims that once all Deadpools die, the universe will collapse and all suffering will end. Dreadpool blames continuity for not letting Deadpool Die. But if they just decide to not heal or even fix their suit, then that's proof Deadpools create and control reality itself. Wade stabs him in the heart, explaining that they don't control anything. He was just being stubborn about healing. Dreadpool realizes too late that he was wrong, as Wade decapitates him and celebrates being the last standing Deadpool. Did you know Deadpool once killed a multiverse of Deadpool? In the Deadpool Kills Deadpool series, we find Deadpool and his partner Pandapool fighting a group of evil Deadpool variants. After Deadpool the Duck is killed along with a MODOK and T-Rex, they cross the portal to save reality. Wade and Pandapool then find themselves surrounded by a multiverse of evil Deadpool. However, this group is quickly mowed down as a group of good Deadpool to save Wade. We cut to them making their way to the Deadpool Tower, fending off swarms of Deadpool. Three. Oh, for Two. God's sake, all of you, grow up. 